name is Stephanie Scott and I will be your occupational therapist. As your occupational therapist, I work with you to look at the activities of your daily life, to see where you're having challenges, and then to help come up with a plan so that you can address those challenges and be able to do the things that you want and need to do in your daily life. One of the first steps, however, is assessing your vital signs. Now this is important for a few reasons. Number one, it gives me a sense of your overall health and wellness. But number two, it allows me to document a baseline so that every time that you come in, we will monitor your vital signs, and if anything changes, we can adjust the plan accordingly. So the vital signs that we're going to be looking at are blood pressure, heart rate, respiratory rate, body temperature, and blood oxygen levels. Now the first one we're going to do is blood pressure. Blood pressure is two numbers, a systolic is the pressure in the heart when the heart contracts, and diastolic is the pressure in the heart when it relaxes. And essentially what this tells us is how hard your, body, your heart is working, pushing the blood through your body. We use a sphygmometer, a blood pressure cuff, as well as a stethoscope. When the blood pressure cuff inflates, it puts pressure around your arteries so that we can be able to hear the sounds of when the heart contracts and when you stop hearing sounds when it relaxes. So I'd like you to sit relaxed with your feet on the ground uncrossed, arms supported about heart height, relaxed. I'm just going to make sure that there's Nothing impeding us to in your blood pressure. Now normally for blood pressure, pressure I would estimate your systolic value by taking your radial pulse, inflating the cuff, and when I can no longer feel your pulse, that would be your estimated level. And then when I take your blood pressure and inflate the cuff, about 30 milligrams of mercury above that. But today I'm just gonna take your blood pressure. All right, your blood pressure was 115 over 75. Normal range for blood pressure is below 120 systolic and below 180 diastolic, so you fall right in the normal range. The next thing we are gonna be looking at is your heart rate. We're gonna be counting the number of beats per minute. However, in your case, we're gonna do for 30 seconds and times by two. I'm also going to be looking at pulse strength, as well as whether it's um, regular or irregular beat. And this is just gonna tell us how well your heart is working and if there's maybe any um, irregularities that might impact your ability to do activities. So I'm just going to take your radio pulse. Your pulse is 64 beats per minute, and it felt strong and regular, which falls into the normal 60 to 100 beats per minute normal range for adults. The next, we're going to be looking at respiratory rate, and this is going to tell us how well you're breathing, if you're getting enough oxygen to your organs, which would be very important for you to be able to do activities. So I'm just respiratory rate is just the number of inhales and exhales you do in one minute. Again, we're gonna do 30 seconds and then just times by two. However, if I notice any irregularities, I might do up to a minute and then listen also to your lung sounds. So just relax and breathe normally.
she had 18 breaths per minute, and they seemed regular and not too shallow, and that is falls within the 12 to 20 normal range for adults. The next thing we're going to check is your body temperature. I'm going to be using a digital ear thermometer. However, normally I would probably use an oral thermometer that you would put underneath your tongue, close your lips around, and it would give us a digital reading. Essentially, what body temperature tells us is if it is too high, it, you might be having an infection or something your body's fighting off with, you might want to see a doctor to get that taken care of. Your temperature was 98.9 degrees Fahrenheit, and that falls within the normal range of 97 to 99.3, the average being about 98.6 for adults. Lastly, we're going to check your blood oxygen levels, and this is important because it tells us how much oxygen is in your blood, getting to your organs and your tissues, allowing you to be actually able to do the activities. I'm just gonna put this on your finger. It uses red and infrared light. It's called a pulse oximeter. And it is showing your rate is 98% blood oxygen. And that falls within the normal category of 95 to 100%. So your tissues are getting adequate oxygen. So that's your vital assessment. Do you have any questions or concerns? Excellent. So the next step now, we're going to be looking at your list of activities. Thank you. And I will just document this and then we'll get on to the next step. Okay.